Good morning, this is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and today I want to talk a little bit about using Windows PowerShell uh, to query messages that are in the event log. So for instance, if I use the uh, get event log um, commandlet and I specify the uh, the log as, let's see, application, uh, then um, I'm going to just choose like one event because I want to look at the field. Then what ha comes back is you know we have a, the entry type, we have the source, with the uh, the instance ID, um, the time uh, that the event took place, and then we also have the message over here. And um, if I select only that message, then um, it comes back. It says the software protection service has stopped. So generally, uh, these are going to be associated with a particular event ID number, and um, but we can use the get event log commandlet to be able to parse uh, some of this information that may actually be in there. And so, for instance, I'm going to um, specify that I want um, you know to look at uh, 10 events and then I'm going to specify the uh, the message field and I can use wildcards here so I can say like software and um, when I use the wildcards then it uh, goes back and it actually parses that message field and uh, when it does then it comes back and it pulls back in events uh, or entries you know that contain that that particular word. So we can see that you know we got entry types uh, zero. We got informationals over here. Uh, the source are all coming from software protection. And then we can also see, you know, that in the field then that we have a, a number of different uh, entries here. So the software whatever successfully whatever blah 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 blah. Now, uh, I can turn around and group these guys, so I can say, you know, group uh, by instance ID, maybe. And uh, when I do, then uh, we can see that actually what we're tracking back here is that we have two of this particular uh, entry, uh, two of those, and we have four of these, you know, and one and one. And so this becomes a pretty quick and pretty easy way uh, for me uh, to be able to parse through the event log and to look for entries that may contain a specific word. Um, and uh, even though I don't know necessarily the source, even though I don't necessarily even know the event type or the event ID, uh, I can still parse this message field. Now let me uh, let me take another example here. So, for instance, I'm looking for stuff that may have the word uh, explorer in it. And uh, once again, I use I use the wild cards, and uh, I'm only looking for ten. And so, when we do, then we come back here that we've got. Um, so then uh, again, from the newest ten entries, uh, then it comes back over here, and we see that we have a number of. Uh, Instance IDs, uh, MS installer over here, for instance, and uh, then we have these other sources coming from here, and then we got these fields. Now I don't know exactly what these entries actually are, um, so I'm going to change this back to the newest one entry, and uh, then I'm going to look into the uh, message field. And uh, when I do, it says that the Windows detected your registry file is still in use by other applications or services, blah, blah, blah. Well, the blah, blah, blah stuff uh, is, you know, what I really want to see. So uh, what if I um, you know, come over and uh, so w what I want to do then is expand this. I'm going to say expand uh, message, uh, you whiner. Oh, it's because I wrapped X um, expand. Um, and then I say message. And uh, so now that now we've got all of the information coming back from it. So uh, we can see that it says that uh, the registry file is still in use by other applications or services. Uh, the file will be unloaded now. The application or services that hold your registry file might not function properly afterwards. 
no user action required. So it might not work, but uh, you don't have to do anything, uh, probably because you can't do anything. But anyway, so I'll come back over here and I'll look at this. And so there are five registry handles over here. Um, and we can see that that's right here, Internet Explorer, uh, main feature control. Um, this is something that I may not found, I've found, you know, very easily. Uh, and so we come over here. This is uh, Internet settings, Internet settings, Internet settings, you know, Internet Explorer again, and uh, current version. This is my uninstall key. Um, so I don't know what's going on. You know, if this sounds scary, uh, then this is something that I probably would want to dive into and, you know, maybe try to take a look at if I want to see if there's other instances of this type of uh, thing, then um, I could, uh, could filter that out as well. So you can see you know, that uh, the ability to quickly and easily go in and to parse this message field, and all of this is the mar message the message field here, uh, then this allows me to uh, look at stuff uh, and to go into it and um, find things that are really interesting. One of my f favorite things to take a look at is failed. Um, so... Um, if I find stuff that over here that says that something failed, this is always kind of a good thing to take a look at. You know, um, you know, or unable to do something is always a good one. Um, and again, you know, we can uh, find the different entries, find the different things that were going on, find out what was failing, find out what it's unable to do, and all of this. Yeah, in the past, uh, I needed to uh, to try to parse this stuff, maybe using you know regular expressions or trying to go through this and work through this. Uh, but by using this particular technique, you know, it's very powerful. It gives me a quick way to uh, look into uh, the event log and to look into this message field. Uh, this is something that a lot of people don't don't really know that we could do, and they certainly don't know that it's this easy to do it. So uh, this is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft scripting guy, and this is using the uh, get event log commandlet and look at using the message field uh, to be able to look inside my event log and to spot trends, to spot things that are related, and to spot potential errors that uh, could have uh, catastrophic uh, failures. So hope you have a great day, and uh, thanks for listening.